Hey everybody, this is Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome into anybody new. Today I'm doing an unboxing of my knit crate. My July knit crate came and I uh, wanted to open it and see what's there. As always, they put the sticker over the top so you can even see that it said knit crate. It drives me nuts every time they do it. There's plenty of room on the other side besides where the addresses are. They've got plenty of room to put that sticker or even on one of the ends, but they always put it on the top over the pretty box that Knit Crate pays a lot of money for. I am sure that's the only thing that drives me nuts. And it's not Knit Crate that puts it there, it's the post office that puts it there. So that just drives me crazy. Anyway, I usually get them off a lot easier, but today's been a blah day for me. The migraine that won't go away. I just did a different video. Um, and if you've watched that before this one, you also see there it, it's just a week. But let's look at some beautiful yarn together and let's change the day for all of us who are not having the best week. Okay? Let's look. I know this won't change everything, but at least it can make you feel a little better. And I'm hoping it makes me feel a little better honestly. So I can't even remember what colorway is supposed to be in here. Uh, I know. Oh, okay. I remember what colorway is supposed to be in here now. Okay. I know I had to switch my colorway in order to make sure that I got a color that I liked. I wanted to, there were four colors this month, two of them in the energize me colorway. One of them was my favorite that I really, really wanted, but when they put more than one color in the colorway that you have picked, they pick whichever one of the two they're going to send you. You can't say, can you please send me the pretty purple one, which is the one that I wanted. Um, they had, I'm trying to think what the other color was. When I see the card, I'll be able to know. Um, I think it was a red one and a purple one, I believe. And then they had Energize Me, which I believe was a blue color. And then the um, Natural Vibe, which is also a purple color, but it's more of a purple gray, where the other one was more of a bluish purple. purple. So, but they were, all, they're all light. Um, these are all like paler colors this month. So let's open it. That's all I remember seeing. And I specifically did not look at uh, with <clears throat> how things work. For those of you who have never gotten Knit Crate before, but you've been watching my unboxings, we get an email letting us know when there is um, a preview of the month's um, knit crate. So like, wasn't yesterday, two days ago, I think I got a preview of August's knit crate. So you can see the colorways, but nothing else. They'll show you the colorways of all of the subscription boxes for the month. So first you see the colorway of the crochet and knit box, which is what I get. Then they'll show you the colorways of the sock, sock crates and then they'll show you the colorways of the, um, I don't remember what they call them now. The one used to be called the Malabrigo, but they changed the name of it, Crate. And that one is like every other month. I can't remember if that one's only four times a month, but there's another one that goes in the months that that one's not there. And I can't remember the name of that one either. At least I think it's during the month that that one isn't there. There may be a month where there's neither of them. I don't know how those work because I'm not in them and I can't, I would have loved to afforded the one this month, but I couldn't. But it's beautiful. The yarn is just so beautiful. But I love the yarn that I get as well. And um, anyway, you get a preview and then you get can't remember the heading on it, but you get um, 
think it's the, it's not the post view, but it's the view of the July crate once it's been released. And in that one, it shows you the colors again, and it also shows you like what extra they put in the box, which they never used to do that on them before. And I wish they wouldn't do that now because then I would actually probably go and look at them like I used to. But I don't like knowing what the extra is. I like having a surprise, and that's my surprise. Whether it's a good extra or not a good extra, I, I like to be surprised by something. So, I mean, I used to get the Anything Goes yarn until I just kept getting red all the time. And red is not my favorite color. I may look good in red, but I do not like getting red all the time. So, um, especially when they were having some beautiful yellows and y'all know yellow is my favorite color. Normally I don't buy a lot of yellow, but I have been more and more lately because I've been starting to make things for myself and not just everybody else. So, um, so yeah, that's how it works. You get after that one, it, well, it shows you, I didn't tell you everything. It shows you the colorways. It shows you the little extra they put in, and then it also shows you what it looks knitted up. It doesn't, I don't know if it tells you the name of the patterns you're getting, but it basically, it shows you the knitted pattern worked up already, um, which will be the pictures that are in the, well, we don't get booklets anymore, in the digital booklet. Um, and it'll show you the crocheted version of the pattern that's going to be in that um, digital booklet. And then it will show you the knitted socks and the crocheted socks. And then it will also show you what comes in the extra ones, what patterns are in the, in the extra box, like the Malabrigo and the other one that I can't remember the name of. And like I said, I'm not remember the right one for the Malabrigo either because it's not called the Malabrigo box. So, um... I just know that's the type of yarn that's in there. Anyway, <clears throat> and um, yeah, and it shows you the little extra in all of them. And so I also don't like looking at that because there are many times that I think they get a better extra in the sock crate, but then it kind of made sense to me because all you get is one hank of yarn in the sock crate, although you don't pay as much also. So it all evens out in the end, but there are lots of times that the sock crate gets something that is way better and something that I would use versus when they throw in things that we may not use um, in the knit and crochet box, like the patches. Um, I use the pads of paper, but they're not something that I really want to see in a box. I want to see things that I will use with my crochet project, like stitch markers maybe tapestry needles, tapestry needles that we can use, not the big one that they gave us that has the dull end. Um, if you're going to send us pads of paper, ones where we, and they've done this before, where you can write up your project or leave it with your project. So if you go in looking, you know, and you've had to move your hook, you can write down what hook and yarn information and everything. Because I actually have a couple older projects that my hooks aren't with them anymore. I, I can't find the pattern. I can't remember the name of the pattern that I had with it. I know I own the pattern because it came out of a pattern book, but I don't remember what, which pattern it was, what hook I was using, because it was a pattern that I memorized how to make. And then I, I don't remember. And I can't find the actual printed pattern. Um, because I will take a book and I will use the copy part of our printer and I'll copy those pages so that I can write on them. So um, anyway, yeah, I, I have a couple like that. And I had like, a, the scarf was like halfway done and I don't know, my brain just didn't want to work to try and figure it out. Although now I know that, but that was a couple of years ago when I didn't feel confident enough that I could figure it out and re, you know, do it, but I actually feel confident now that I could, and I'm hoping that I did not frog it and that I left it there. The only thing is finding the hook size. So, and with that said, I it's already going on 10 minutes, and I only wanted to take a couple minutes with this. Let's get this knit crate opened. 
all I did was snip it open. So you guys are getting that first look of, there's my card. This one is Sunscape. Here comes the sun in all her golden glory, lighting up clouds and shades of rich golden yellow and red, fading away to soft mauve and retreating with a fading turquoise evening. And those are the pictures that they were based off of. Let me cover that up there. These are the colors. Yes, I was right. There's a red. And then it's like a pinky bluish mauve, kind of lilac color. And then like a turquoise color. And then this is the one that should be in my crate. This, I call it like a purpley gray color from what we could see. These are what the sock crates were this time. And this just tells you how to get the pattern downloads and how to get your double down um, if you want to buy more yarn and save and use the double down code that they have for you, which why wouldn't you want to use it? You know, so here we go. Let's open this up. Oh, that is so pretty and it's shiny. Well, isn't that beautiful? It is so, so shiny. Oh, you can't see the shine, I don't think. You see that shine on that? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Here, kind of moving it this way, you might be able to see it a little better. Oh, that is so pretty. Vitalana by Knit Crate Silhouette. This is called Moonrise. 50% superwash merino wool, 50% tensile fingering weight. 400 yards per 100 gram. Hand wash gently, lay flat to dry. And it says to use a US one to three knitting needles which are 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter, or a US B1 to E4 crochet hook, which is a 2.25 to a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. I'm so glad I picked this one. I would have really liked to have gotten the other one as well, but that is so gorgeous if I can afford it. Although I know I can't afford it this month. So, oh, this looks like something I'll be able to use. And I'm glad I didn't look. This is a nice surprise. I know I have another bag from them. And this one happens to be yellow. One of my favorite colors. This is, this is Knit Crate with a ball of yarn that looks like the sun on a sunny yellow bag. And it's one of those that you can wear over your shoulders if you want to, like a backpack. Pinch it at the top, or you can just carry it like this. I like that. And what I think I'm going to do, because I have another couple things of yarn up here that need to go in the back. And my cat likes to knock the box on the floor and see if we can get it open, because he loves the smell of the... Wool yarn. This one doesn't really have a smell to it because it's super wash merino. There. And I can put the other ones in there to take back there. Make sure I get them back without him messing. Trying to toss the boxes on the floor. There we go. Actually, is it a knit crate that I have over there? Oh, no. It's my yarn for my, um, that I have to, um, cake up for my um, sample make, which that's tomorrow. I need to cake it up and I need to start working on that tomorrow. So, um, And I will probably sometime this weekend tape and show you how I'm doing on that. So, and actually that'll be the day that you see this tomorrow um, because I'm scheduling this to come on on Saturday because I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to wake up on Saturday. Because like I said, I have not been feeling well at all. So, 
and I don't think it's what I had talked about earlier in the week. I'm pretty sure I don't have COVID, that I did not get it from the person that I was exposed to. I'm just, it's just everything coming down on me and being stressed. Um, and plus being in the air conditioner all the time and being cold. So with that said, I am going to go. Please remember that you matter. If you're feeling down, if you feel like you don't, you do. You matter. And uh, if you ever need me, please message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram, send me an email, and I will answer you back. If you happen to send me an email and I have not answered you back, then please send me another one. I may have missed the first one. I um, One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a second business account for all of the... Um, the people that I follow and that I get newsletters from for all the newsletters to go to. So hopefully then all of the other junk mail will follow that there. And then my regular business email, which is listed below will be the one that you guys will, um, well, that is the one that you guys for you guys. So if you send me something, I will see it easier. And it's also for anybody who orders from me and you know, all of my main business type stuff. So um, it's the only way that I can think of to separate it out because now I can open it every day and I can have two to 250 emails a day and I just don't have time to go through all of that. I can skim through the newsletters, see if there's something I wanna open, but then I don't have to if I don't want to and I can just go and delete it all if I feel like doing that as well, so. I do need to start going through through them this week to look for the um, blog hops so that I can let you know when they are coming, which hopefully if I can find them out before the first, I will tape on the last day of the month on the 31st. But if I cannot find them out before then, you will get a tape on the first like I normally do as I am looking at finding all of them that day. That's one of the reasons why it comes out so late is because it takes me a while to find them all. And I know I don't get them all. I know that I miss some because everybody always has something going on that I may not see. With that said, I'm going to go. Remember, I love you guys. You need me. I am here for you. Remember, you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You're handsome. Don't let anybody ever tell you I, otherwise, especially yourself. Believe me, I've had a week of telling myself some not so nice things just because it's been a bad week and I have turned that around today and which was made me able to come on and tape today and I have missed you guys a lot. Um, I can always tell when I have not taped in a while because that's when I start letting myself go back to thinking some of the ways that I used to and um, yeah, I can tell I haven't been feeling good because besides having so much to get done, I just have not felt connected to you guys and I have missed that. So with that said, I am out of here and I will see you guys soon. Later.